Tiger Gears. They were having a professional gears overview on Under Armour's all new training lineup. Now, the first thing I'm excited for is as opposed to years past, it is nice to see Under Armour give a clear path for different runners with five distinct shoes. As of right now, it has been kind of muddy if you went to an Under Armour store and asked, hey, I'm looking for a running shoe. This is what I like. A lot of their shoes were really similar. There wasn't a lot of distinction, which I think is their first premier or elite cushioning setup that competes with anything from anybody in the industry, whether it's your Lunar and React from Nike, your Boost from Adidas, Hover Foam is legit. And it's something that is very tunable, meaning you can have Hover that is uh, very plush, have Hover that's bouncy, have Hover that's a little more responsive and firm. It gives the engineers at Under Armour a chance to make the shoe how they want it. And it's a nice starting point and it works really well with their Micro G and Charge cushioning setups as far as those foams. So it's a nice balance. Uh, it's similar to what Nike has done where you have your Pegasus with full link zoom. Uh, they used to have the Zoom Elite that was four foot zoom. And you have something like your Zoom Windflow, which was just heel zoom. And then now they have their Nike Zoom Vomero, which is full link zoom with React foam. All these different combinations and Under Armour has kind of taken that, learned from what they've done, learned from what athletes and runners are telling them and have come out with a nice lineup with five distinct different runners. So let's get into it. Meaning they said it is going to be a little bit better for fast workouts or speed workouts. Now it's not quite heel to toe, but it's more like heel to the ball of your feet. And and when I tried them on, I kind of did feel that being a mid and four foot runner, I didn't like how the hover didn't go all the way, which is why I'm excited to try the infinite on. But a lot of runners did like it. I think it did take off very well because casually it was a good looking shoe. This year, I think it looks even better with that upper slightly modified where it's just a good looking shoe. It is very plush and it gives in these five shoes Under Armour a chance to one, help their employees uh, tell runners what they're looking for. And it does match up better. So if you're coming to the store and you're, you have a current runner you're happy with, it, they odds are gonna have a shoe that matches very well. Uh, for instance, if you're used to running in something like the Brooks Glycerin, which is more of a plush riding shoe, I'll leave a lot of my shoe reviews out there to say, okay, which shoe is better, but something you can definitely try. Same thing if you came to the store and you were looking for something like you run in the Asics Kayano, which is kind of their max cushion, max support, you'll be able to easily slot in and try the, again, I'm not going to tell you which shoe is better, but what I can tell you is from runners who are used to running in whatever shoe they have, whether it's Nike, New Balance, or what have you, you can now try Under Armour because they're gonna have a solid lineup for you to use and see if it fits what you're looking for. Now, most brand houses do have the treadmill and a lot of the employees there, I think, are trained fairly well. And I think this lineup gives them a broad spectrum to offer more to more runners. Now, it doesn't mean they're offering a little bit of everything. I think a lot of the lineups now, uh, nowadays are very, very specific and you can really get into it. Uh, if you're looking at something from even like Brooks with their Levitate, they took the Levitate and then they have their Bedlam for structure and now your Ricochet where it uses a little bit less bounce back, but now it has a little bit more responsiveness. So they can really turn these five shoes into 10 shoes, into 20 shoes, but it's a good foundation where Under Armour is going to attack the running market with a little more well-equipped as well as having that hover cushioning, I think is their ace in the hole because that's a cushioning that again, will stand up to anything from any company where they're used to the gel from Asics, uh, New Balance on their fresh foam. But I did want to give a shout out to Under Armour because I'm really impressed with what they came out with and I hope you guys give them a chance. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below and hit the little bell if you do want to see any new videos coming out.